Hello friends, this is Amy and welcome to my channel. What I have here is some really fun stencils. It's called a Build a Snowman stencil. And this is my tea stained towels that I did a while ago. And I'm just going to check on here and just to kind of see what I'm debating is do I want to use a, a black and do it really light or do I want to use a white? Uh, paint is what I mean. And so I have some uh, fabric paint that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm just going to start with the black, just thinking, well, maybe, you know, we need that to show up better. Um, and then I tried the white, and I'm just using a stencil brush. And when you're stenciling, um, it's nice that if you could take the color from the stencil and pull it in inside of the stencil if you kind of know what i mean um that's the best way to stencil is to you, you know your brush is on your stencil and then you just circular motion and bring it in onto the uh, fabric or the cardstock or whatever it is you have and now i'm just using those stencils uh just to kind of make a let's see where do i want to put this you know on this piece of fabric and I ultimately went with the white fabric paint. And now, you know, I've just, it's just kind of a trial and error thing as to how much paint I want to use. And, you know, how much white, how much do I leave? You know, it's completely your preference. I also want to mention, I saw a YouTube video by Nicole Spore using these same little, uh, stencils and I'll list where I got them it was from Simon Says Stamp and they're about $20 just to let you know where you can get them if you like them too I just thought they'd make really cute little um, like bowl fillers you could make them in little bags um, you could put them on paper and make a card I mean they've got a lot of uses um, she had put them on little uh, burlap bags and uh, I thought they were very cute and I thought I could really use these for my crafting too. So here we're going to do a, a hat and put some black on it. And just take the color, like I said, and pull it from the stencil into where you've got your uh, fabric or cardstock or whatever it is you, you're using. And then as you're going through, at least what I was doing is thinking, well, should I put something in that hat? You know, it is, it's not a real big area, but uh, you could, you know, either stamp a message or put a little decor in there. What I ended up doing, as you'll see, is um, I had some felt pieces that were like poinsettias, and then I glued those on and tacked them down. So here's the eyes. There's a set of three different kinds and then same thing with the mouth. You can use the little dots. I preferred those but they've got like a line and then they've got one that's kind of open. So it's such a cute little set. And then they did have different hats for these, and so I'm just trying out, you know, I'm going to put a stocking cap on this one snowman. And, you know, it's first time using it, so I'm just putting it on. And I just went with the stencil, and you'll see what it looks like. It was like, oh, we've got some gaps in here. And, you know, I just didn't think it through. So once I got this one done, then I realized my, my mistake. Oh yeah, that doesn't quite look right. And I didn't know if other pieces went in there. You know, I was not sure what all these pieces were for. Um, but I decided just to set it aside and just keep going. On the second one, I knew exactly what I needed to do rather than stack it up or like that. I am going to move the stencil down and uh, we'll put some color on it. And that's the way to use it in, as far as I know. But you can see where that would get confusing. Okay. 
Now I'm just kind of looking at it to see if I can put a little scarf on it. And you can just kind of see my uh, as we go through this process. This is how I dealt with using, making a scarf, is just kind of putting one at an angle and I thought, that works fine, I like that. And you could take and use a little band on the hat, use that for a band. Um, and then that one little piece, I don't know if that's the carrot nose or if that's part of a scarf. I really honestly don't know. Um, my guess is that it's part of a scarf. I never did figure out how to use it though. Okay, and then this is where I decided to put the rest of that hat on and I basically just put a little white in with the blue to lighten it so it would, you know, for sure blend and look nice together but just a little lighter. And instead of putting the pom-pom on, I thought I'm going to just put a pom-pom on it. But I had to do something with this one so had to figure out how to fix this one. And now it's starting to look kind of cute. And what I wanted to put on there was like a, uh, would that not be cute for just to put on like some kind of a button that would be a snowflake, anything like that. I thought that would be fun. But I'm thinking, and so I decided to go ahead and put on all my noses. The fun thing with this stencil is they had a few different kinds of noses. And then if you want to put it one way, you can do it one way. You can flip it and do it the other way. You know, it's so fun and cute. And these are those little felt pieces that I told you I had had. And just going to glue those down. And my thing with poinsettias, I always think, gosh, there should be, you know, the little berries or whatever it is they've got on there. And so I dug around and I got some uh, of my gold thread. And I was going to make some berries with, like, little knots. And I'm... I ended up just making knots, but I was trying, if, when you, this shows, you'll see that I was trying to go around the thread and um, there's a technique to do that. I didn't take the time to remember how to do it. This is what I was, I thought I was supposed to do, <laughs> but uh, I did end up make, getting some knots on the front. That's all I was going for is to make it look like little berries. Um, so I guess, you know, there's lots of ways you could make them look like little berries. Um, there's one. I ended up with one and I was okay with that. And so I'm just putting a little dab of hot glue on it. I just didn't want anything to move in the back. And um, now I'm just stacking my pieces so I can go to the sewing machine. And so you're going to want to put, you know, right sides together. And then you'd sew three sides plus a little bit more of that fourth side. And usually when you start out, you're going to want to backstitch because you're going to want that end. You want it to be strong. And so backstitch. Go over to, you know, a little bit right there when you start. And then just sew away. If you need pins or clips, that's great. Um, I didn't need any of that. I it held very nicely and so like I said you'll go through and you'll make so all three sides plus um, about half of the the fourth side okay and so now I've sewn that and just trim it away and then so there's not bulkiness in your corners you can trim your corners and then also go along and just trim any extra fabric along the entire edge 
so everything is very nicely um, you know it tucks in there really nice and now you can inside it out and I just wanted to point out too I left a little tab I did not trim the tab away where it was open because that is what you can bend down or fold it under and I'll show you how I go ahead and sew that okay so you see how we've got that open and this is the process or the order of things that I did and I stuffed it all in there and then you roll it under and you can just see how pull it together and then pin it and it's gonna work just fine and so this or this is the order I did it this this first one sew along that first side and then go along and sew all the other sides so everything matches you won't know where there was a hole you know to to do the stuffing now with it stuffed it was more difficult to do this because it was hard to hold it and so after this first one I kinda got smart and I decided to before stuffing it going through all the corners except that last side I sewed them all and then left that open and then I closed it up with the stuffing in it and if you do it that way your uh, sewing is going to look a lot nicer and neater but it still turned out so cute I just love them so here's that one with the stuffed. I did the stuffing in it. And then this is me showing you when I, before I stuffed it, I sewed along. Don't you just love that cute one winking? I just think that's so cute. And look at my little tag, the hen house. I can put a link as to where I bought that. It was from Etsy. And there's three of them. And then I've got another one that's a fourth one, kind of up above that. I also want to show you guys my little, um, I have a room in my home and I had an open house and I call my little store the Hen House. Uh, thank you all for watching and look for, look for that video coming up sometime soon. And we'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.